Mary Griffiths, a jury consultant, founded the Dallas-based Trial Consulting Enterprises, which specializes in litigation consulting. Ms. Griffiths is a lawyer who is licensed to practice law in both Texas and Louisiana. Prior to starting her own consulting firm, Ms. Griffiths was a senior litigation analyst with Dr. Phil McGraw's trial science firm in Dallas that handled cases such as the Cattleman suit against Oprah Winfrey, along with other high-profile entertainment litigation. Ms. Griffiths' jury consulting experience includes facilitating mock trials, focus groups, creating juror profiles, drafting juror questionnaires, witness communication training, facilitating mock arbitrations and mediations, venue studies for dire development and presentation, jury selection and trial monitoring, along with presenting CLE seminars. Ms. Griffiths has worked with and engaged in litigation consulting for such high profile clients as 3M, Johnson & Johnson, Carnival Cruise Lines, Six Flags Over Texas, Lufkin, Mary Kay, and Whataburger. Ms. Griffiths has been a featured jury consultant in both the Texas Lawyer and National Law Journal and on numerous television programs as a jury correspondent. I think that this definitely helps. I mean, pretrial publicity has been around forever. This time, this is coming from the defense camp, and they are trying to recreate what occurred. There's only two people who know what happened, and unfortunately, one is deceased. Here we have Zimmerman, who looks calm. He seemed factual. He seemed even a little bit compassionate in the way he was describing things. Mm -hmm. This will give jurors, or at least the court potential of public, jurors. potential jurors, or the court of public opinion, his viewpoint on what occurred. You know, that, that's the exact thing that what we're going to do, what any trial lawyer does, is that they want the jurors in the box to put themselves in the position of the person, mm -hmm. in this case, the defendant. What would you have done if you had heard your daughter screaming in a barn and had run in and had seen molestation? What would you have done? And was that reasonable, what he did do? That's what they're hoping these jurors are going to ask themselves. Well, two things. I always think that cases are won and lost in jury selection. So okay. identifying those jurors in the beginning of who you want is crucial. In prosecution, I would be looking for those thinkers that are more rigid in thinking, meaning that they see cases as right and wrong. They look at things in a more concrete, linear, right and wrong manner. On the flip side, if I was working for the defense, I would be identifying people, and you can do this through jury questionnaires, voir dire, who are more gray thinkers, who can see things more in a conspiracy way. Hence, if I can prove a doubt, even a speculation of a doubt, I've got someone in that box who's already thinking to themselves, you know what? I could see potentially that happening. Every once in a while, you'll have what we call a stealth juror, a juror that has their own agenda that they bring into the courtroom. And when you have high publicity cases like this, there is bound to be one or two jurors that may have their own agenda. Maybe it's a book deal. No, Maybe they want to make the TV rounds. Yeah. But that, there's always that those one or two people that they want something else besides maybe justice. The burden of proof in this instance, because it's murder, right? this is the highest burden of proof that we have in the litigation system. Beyond a reasonable doubt is the highest, strictest standard. And so what I think this juror was saying, and as we've heard from her in this interview, right. is that you did not prove to me, prosecution, how Kaylee died. Hence, I had some doubts. I didn't know the what. I didn't know the where. Right. I didn't know the why. So you haven't gotten me to beyond a reasonable doubt. Well, the prosecution has done a good job of making this case about earnings over ethics. So the defendants really... Well, the prosecution has done a good job of making this case about earnings over ethics. So the defendants really have to prove... Jurors are often, when they evaluate witnesses, they look at the character of a witness. So that's credibility, but also likability. Mr. Lay especially has, from what people say, that likability quotient. It'll be interesting to see how well he does on the stand. Oh.